Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to modify your host file to block unwanted websites like ads, um, trojans, malware, all sorts of all sorts of different junk on the internet. Uh, so let's get started. First of all we need to open up a web browser. Uh, I recommend either Chrome or Firefox because Internet Explorer will uh, Internet Explorer will tell you that it's a, a malicious website and, and you have to go through a dialogue and tell it that it's not. And the reason it says that is because this file will actually block a lot of things from Microsoft, like uh, there's certain servers that are spying on you, especially in Windows 10. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, the website we want to go to is someonewhocares.org and uh, we'll go to hosts and then zero text file on the right side and then if you're in Firefox you can save the file first or open it in uh, let's see your Windows Word pad that's what we'll have to open it in and then I'm gonna do control A control C to copy and then we can minimize this for now and then we will go to start menu type in notepad and right click it then run as administrator, enter your password if you have to, uh, then go to file, open, and uh, it'll start off on, you know, I'm not sure, I think documents folder will probably start off, but anyway, we're going to go down to computer, go to Windows, C drive, uh, Windows folder, system 32, drivers, etc. And then you'll see, you'll think that there's nothing in here, but what you got to do is go down to where it says text documents here, click on all files, go to the host file, click open. Now this is the default one that comes with uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8, Windows 10. By the way, this tutorial will work for any of these, um, any of Microsoft's uh, versions, I think up to uh, the newest and since Windows XP. Anyway, uh, we're going to do control A to select all or you can click at the bottom and then drag up either way I always like to use the keyboard shortcuts and then control V to paste and then uh, let's see here so yes it's going to block all of these websites what it will do is uh, any sort of ad website it'll redirect it to 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 which means basically it's going to shoot it out all interfaces so if you have a web if you have a web server running on your computer, it'll actually just send it to that website. Um, but if you don't, it's just going to have a blank page. But for the most part, most people aren't going to have a uh, anything listening on port 80, such as a web server. So anyway, that's that. Um, this is the date that it's been updated. So it's about three days old. He seems like Dan updates this, you know, quite frequently. Is, that's the reason why I use his over uh, other people's um, and that's that then you can press X save and it should uh, block uh, all sorts of different w ads uh, I recommend updating it you know every couple weeks or whenever you start seeing ads and that's it thank you for watching subscribe and like